السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيستر هدى بالاستاين السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته ماي نيم از هدى اند اي ام 18 ييرز اولد ريفر اي واز جويش اند اي واز ات فور تو ييرز تو ريفر بيكوز اي واز ا ماينر ذا فيرست تايم اي تولد ماي مادر اي ام ا مسلم I am uh, um, I am her only child, and uh, my father passed away four years ago. So I am like everything she has. And when I told her I am a Muslim, she reacted really badly. She started to cry. And at the same day, she made phone calls and received phone calls. And when she talked on the phone, she went... Uh, to some other place so I won't hear the conversation. And the day after, I checked and I checked her phone and I thought that she talked with a psychic. She talked so with I her? realized she's probably, yes. So I realized she probably tried to make a sicher on me so I will stay Jewish. Mm. But, I, but because it was Ramadan so I, I thought that this is nothing and won't work. So um, at the same, and then I told her, fine, I'll fast uh, Ramadan, and then I'll leave Islam. When uh, Ramadan was over, I left the house, and now I live with the Muslim family in the Palestinian Authority. Okay. You're the first time I met with my mother, she gave me food, she gave me cookies, she made and they looked weird. The day after I met her, and I ate the cookies, the day after I met her, uh, we found out she did say help to me, and now I have a gene. And um, he tries, she wants me to come back to Judaism, and uh, that I will leave Islam. Um, I I healed some of I vomited some of the seher, but I still have some in my stomach, and I suffer from a strong wastrosal sometimes. And um, now we're trying to get this thing, get the seher out of me, but uh, it's really hard because I don't vomit much. I vomited only one for two and it's really hard and the shayukh told me to talk with my family as less as possible because the waswasa uh, makes me to miss my family and want and, and it makes me to want to come back to my home so my question is um uh, is it possible that my mother will give me money through the bank? And what do you think, and how do you think I should talk to her? What do you think our relationship should be like? Okay. Uh, Sister Hoda, how old are you? You said uh, 18? Yes. And I had, I, um, by the law, I should be in the IDF, but I told, her, I told them I am a Muslim. Okay. My mother did seher to me because she's afraid of what other people will say. This is why she did seher to me, not because I, I chose to be in another religion, but because of the situation between the Muslims and the Jewish uh, in occupied Palestine. Okay, and now you're living with a Palestinian family, you said. What? I'm sorry, I didn't uh, he... understand. You moved to live with a Palestinian family? Yes, with a Muslim family. Okay, okay. So uh, I will advise you, inshallah, and you're most welcome to leave your number with the control, or you can collect my number also from the control for further advice. So Sister Huda, whether you used to be a Jew or Christian or whatever, once you accept Islam, alhamdulillah, as long as you accepted Islam with full conviction, may Allah uh, keep you steadfast on his straight path and keep you rightly guided. Islam teaches us to be dutiful to our parents 
even if the parents were non-Muslims. And even if the parents struggle to convert the person, their child, back to their old faith or religion, the Quran says, وَإِنْ جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا So even in this worst case scenario, when they struggle with you, like what you're saying, in order to convert you back to Judaism, you don't obey them in this regard. Yet, وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا you give them a good company. So yes, you have to connect with your mother. You have to connect with your family. You have to keep talking to them. And you have to be kind to them. They are your family, whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims. Of course, it is very hard for me sitting here in the studio to determine whether you are undergoing the influence or the effect of magic or sorcery or a magical spell or not. But you said that some people may have advised you that to me you sound mashallah perfect alhamdulillah shukrullah and if you ever feel that you're suffering of any sorcery because your mother or whoever wants to convert you back it will be sufficient to now you muslim alhamdulillah you observe your five daily prayers you recite the greatest defense mechanism which is the adhkar in the morning and in the evening and when you drink water, it will be advised, maybe you can recite Surah Al-Fatiha on the water and you drink it with the intention of Shifa in order to protect you against uh, the sorcery. Try to avoid eating anything from suspicious sources if you think so. As far as the waswasa, that's a different issue. The Prophet Sallallahu advised in the cigar to frequently seek refuge with Allah against Satan. And this is what Allah Almighty uh, advised in Surah Fussilat. So every time you have this, this you know, bad thought or suspicions, just simply say, A'udhu Billahi min shaytan rajim. Do not keep it yourself. Alhamdulillah, you're living with a good family, as I understood from you. I will share with them uh, what you're afraid of and seek advices I wish you're nearby where we can accommodate you or host you and provide you uh, you know as a family member because now you belong to a huge family which is called the Muslim family but I trust you are in safe hands by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for further advices or uh, questions we'll be more than happy inshallah to assist you to the best of our ability insha'Allah. Barakallahu feekum. My dear brothers and sisters, I want you to make dua for our sister Huda. She used to be Jewish. She is from Palestine. Um, obviously, she belonged to an Israeli family and she have accepted Islam and she's suffering a little bit with her family. May Allah keep her safe and steadfast, uh, and steadfast on the straight path. Allahumma ameen.